So today I want to talk about five quiet luxury designer handbags that won't break the bank. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. Okay, so today I have five designer handbags that kind of emulate that quiet luxury feel. Some of these brands you may have heard of, some of these maybe you haven't heard of, but these are five handbags in my collection that are, I think, around $600, if not less than $600. And I think that they just really emulate that quiet luxury aesthetic. I want to preface and emphasize that this video is not really to like glorify the rich people aesthetic or like shame people on how they want to dress. Um, I know that that's been pretty prominent on social media, more, like pretty much since the quiet luxury aesthetic kind of came out. And that is, that is by no means this, like the intention of this video. This is really to showcase five handbags that I have that really don't have any logos, which is surprising because I am a logo ho through and through. Um, but here are five affordable options if you are looking for something that is a really nice quality bag without breaking the bank. Okay, so starting with Strathberry, this is the East West bag. Um, I have been obsessed with this bag probably since like 2018. Um, I used to see this bag at Nordstrom all the time and then I would look at the price and obviously before social media, before making money from social media I thought like spending five six hundred dollars on a bag was a lot um granted my first bag was Kate Spade outlet so you guys you guys are familiar with the story um but I recently got the strawberry bag and I think this is absolutely stunning I mean this is this is the epitome of quiet luxury this is like a bag that Kate Middleton would wear um and and it's it's just so so stunning the hardware is stunning the leather is stunning um I will say I the one thing that I really like about this bag is the chain I love a bag that you can kind of double up the chain and wear it either as a crossbody or double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag. And I love that this bag comes in a ton of different colors and sizes. This is the smallest size, I believe. This is the mini size. Um, but there's constantly a ton of different colors on their website um, and different color variations as well. So if you're not looking for like the classic black with gold hardware, um, oftentimes you can probably find the color that you want on sale as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the only like con that I have for this bag so far is that the opening is a little bit kind of like finicky and the bag does not fit very much because it has a middle divider. Um, I did do a what fits in the bag, um, I think on TikTok, um, but I'll see if I can find a little bit of that footage and put it here as well. But that's probably like my only con for this bag. This is not one of those bags that's like deceivingly spacious and um, it fits a ton and all of it and it's super practical and it's easy to get in and out of. Um, but I will say that this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. The next style we have is from Demelier. This is the Seville. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I use this bag all the time and this was actually a wedding gift, engagement gift that Demelier sent me. And I have been so obsessed with this. I took this to my engagement party. I recently encouraged one of my fiance's like family friends because she was like oh like what's a good like evening bag I'm going to a wedding and she and I told her to get this bag and I was like I think it's a very reasonable price especially if you don't want to spend like an absurd amount of money on a um on a handbag on an evening bag and then also with like the metal detailing it just has a very elevated elegant look to it you can wear it just as a clutch but then also this bag comes with a leather strap which I guess I took off but it does come with a leather strap that you can wear as a shoulder bag Bag. so I personally like to just keep it in the bag because you never know when like you want to go from like clutch to hands free um and I just absolutely love this style I can't recommend this enough I don't have any cons for it um I really am obsessed with it it comes in quite a few colors I believe um the off-white is occasionally out of stock same with black so you have to keep kind of checking the website and then sometimes if it's not on Demelier, they'll have it on like Saks or Neiman's or things like that as well um so keep an eye out for it if this is something that you're looking for but I am so so glad to have this in my collection I've been using this a lot for a lot of wedding festivities I can also see myself like bringing this for like the wedding weekend like all of that stuff I just feel like it is the 
perfect little evening bag. Okay, so the next bag we have is from Atelier Auguste. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I actually picked this up in Paris almost a year ago now. Um, and I just really love the smooth leather. Um, I actually got to go to their store in Paris. I think that this just looks luxurious. Like the smooth leather, the gold hardware, the heavy gold hardware also just feels like quality. It feels like you're holding quality. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, the magnetic closure is very easy to get in and out of. It is a little bit strong. Um, and it comes with a adjustable crossbody strap. Um, uh, you know, I am a huge adjustable strap kind of girl and I just really, really love this style. I think that this makes for a really great everyday bag. Um, you're able to fit all of your essentials in there. And I know, um, especially if you are, you know, out and about, you want to be hands free. You don't want to have to like worry about like a shoulder bag kind of like sitting under your armpit. You just want to sling this thing across your body and be ready to go. And I think this is a great style to do so. The leather is beautiful. I actually watched, um, I think the, the guy's name is like Tanner. Leatherstein on TikTok and he like deconstructs like all of the bags and he had glowing reviews about this brand as well. Um, so I highly, highly recommend checking them out if you are looking for a black crossbody. This is also the smallest size. This is the mini Sully. They have um, a couple sizes as well. Um, and, and obviously other, other styles and things like that too. But um, I, I think that this style per is perfect for me as an everyday bag and it just looks very effortless and quiet luxury. Okay, did you guys think Think we could sneak in an affordable handbag video and not include Polen. Um, you know I am the biggest Polen fan account here um, and this is the Numero set. This is the number seven mini. My first Polen bag was actually the original size and my boyfriend at the time, now fiance, he bought that for me as a Christmas gift and that's kind of what started my whole Polen like addiction almost like I, I saw that bag and I fell in love with it um I obviously sold that bag because I felt like it was a little too big and I also thought I was going to use that like going to work and I never stepped foot in the office but um the mini size I think is perfect out of all of the Palen handbags that I own which I believe is like 10 12 like there's there's quite a few of them and I picked this number seven as the quiet luxury style because of like the hardware on the back. I was honestly debating between in terms of like quiet luxury, you don't want it to be overdone, um, especially from social media. And as much as I love the number 10, that is very popular on social media. So you want to find a bag that isn't like overly popular. Um, but so which is why I picked the number seven. I love the gold hardware on this. I love the opening. It's just very like luxurious I don't know how to explain it I love the way it kind of like pops open it still has the suede interior um this has a suede interior the color is stunning and this bag kind of like expands a little bit as you can see as well I just am absolutely obsessed with this bag I think this is gorgeous you can wear this with just like the little top handle like this um and it does also come with a longer chain crossbody uh, maybe this is me but I feel like with the chain crossbody chain straps in general it does like make it easier to transition as like an evening look. So if that's something that you're looking for as well, I think this is gorgeous. Um, they do have multiple colors of this, so I get that maybe this is not everybody's taste. Um, but like, if you wanna go the classic option, they have a black, they also have like that camel color. And I believe, at, at least the last time I looked, I believe they also have like smooth leather options. And I've been such a fan of smooth leather recently. So I just, I love this bag. Um, it fits all of your essentials and it's just so cute. Last but certainly not least, we have this style from Kafune. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could completely have butchered that. I don't know. Um, but this is like a video I made, kind of like a mini Kelly dupe, if you will. Um, I know it doesn't look exactly like the mini Kelly, but it does have a certain elegance about it and just this very simple design of it. I'm obsessed. Um, I love this opening. You flip this open and then it kind of opens like this. I still have the stuffing in there. Um, I keep stuffing in like all of the bags. This also has like a zipper compartment here as well. The leather just feels very well made. It is a grained leather. So um, if you wanted something that's a little bit more carefree, 
you're looking at it if you're looking for carefree i wouldn't go for like a smooth leather because it's just going to show a lot of like the scratches and wear and tear very easily and of course you can wear this as a top handle and it has a removable adjustable strap as well um however one of my favorite features about this bag is actually the back pocket um i don't feel like i need a lot to put in the back pocket however i feel like sometimes if i just want to like slip my card holder in the back i don't think this size because this is like the mini size um i'm sure the bigger sizes will be able to fit your phone the this isn't your phone's not fitting in here um but if you wanted to fit like a couple card hold like your card holder a couple credit cards your id something that you're going to reach for like a lot i think that that's perfect that you have it in the back pocket as well um overall this bag is pretty lightweight for the most part i think it makes for a really great everyday bag i think you can depending on the color you can kind of transition it as an evening bag as well um and i just I think this is a great style and not a lot of people have heard about this brand either so i think that's great i feel like the more inconspicuous the brand is the more it's giving quiet luxury it's like oh you haven't heard of this brand you know like i don't know what it is but um i think that that's great okay so that sums it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know in the comments which one's your favorite let me know what you guys think about the whole quiet luxury thing like do you think it's just like a fad i personally kind of leaned into it because content um i don't i i really don't care i really don't dress for quiet luxury i don't dress for any of that but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what you guys think and um i'll leave another video for you guys here and i'll see you guys next time bye